hey guys welcome back in this video we will uh, look at loops in python so there are two kind of loops one is while loop and uh, the next one is for loop so let us start with while loop so loops provides us the capability of uh, uh, running a code block again and again so let us see with example so let us uh, start with the while loop so the keyword is while and then condition and then block code so this is a generic uh, syntax for while loop so let us uh, try with uh, an example so let us say i count is equal to zero let us say condition is like uh, if count is while count is less than three and then the code block we say is print hello python and let us say count plus count is equal to count plus one and let us run it so here we are saying start count from zero and till count is less than three print hello world and count plus one with each and every iteration so let us run it you can say it prints three times hello python here so we can also do a single line uh, statement like uh, we can say let us say while count is less than three print hello python and then a semicolon count we can uh, write the count is equal to count plus count, count is equal to count plus one with another syntax plus is equal to one this is a shorthand for that we can even continue continue like adding more statements like print hello word so this is useful when you have just a few line of code that you want to execute in a single while loop so if i will comment here this part now this is similar to the above uh, uh, code but it is a bit more uh, shorthand you can say it prints hello python then hello world hello python hello world and so on so let us try uh, another uh, type of loop which is for loop so for loop is not conditional it is actually used uh, mainly to uh, retrieve uh, data from a list a string or array so it is like a sequential traversal for uh, our data structure whether it's a dictionary or uh, tuple or sets so let us go ahead and try uh, with an example let us say we have a uh, fruits is equal to list let us create a list like uh, orange mango and let us say kiwi now we can use for loop to access each and every um, fruit in this list so let us say for fruit in simply fruits and now we can print print fruits the fruit name is comma so here in a uh, print statement we actually combined uh, uh, two things one is uh, this is a string and this is the value coming from the list so we will uh, uh, create uh, we will see in another video like uh, how we can format a string in python but it is like a simple example where we have just added a uh, extra content in printing so let's go ahead and run it so you can say it like the fruit name is orange mango and kiwi so similarly you can uh, run with like uh, 
dictionary as well as set so probably create some programs where you create a dictionary and uh, retrieve uh, um, key and value pairs from a given uh, dictionary so, so range is a, a inbuilt function that uh, you will use very often with for loop so let us first look at it like what it does and what it creates so let us try with an example so let us say we have nums is equal to simply type range and then you can type like uh, what uh, what is the range so it will generate a number from 0 to 20 so if we print it print list nums so why we need to convert it into list because it is actually a, an iterator which will print just uh, the same thing so you need to convert it to list to see that what is inside we will see in a separate video like what are the iterators in python but for this video just uh, bear in mind that this generates an iterator that uh, has the numbers from 0 to 20 so let us run and print it so you can say 0 to 19 actually not 20 so now if you will run like uh, for i in range ten. So now if we we'll print i, so as it is kind of a list, so it will iterate from zero to uh, ten, as zero to nine actually. So let us run it. So you can see like it has printed from 0 to 9. So uh, this is mainly used for uh, like uh, if you want to access the sequence by indexing. So let us try the same example again this one. So let us see instead of just looping over we want to print uh, the list with uh, indexing. So let us see. So we can uh, get the length of the list as a stop point. So we can say simply range len. So len is a inbuilt function that is used to get the length of uh, uh, various uh, data structures like uh, list, uh, tuple, uh, dictionary and so on. So this will generate uh, like uh, index. So index is starting from zero to the length of roots. And then we can simply say, okay, you have a list roots. And then we can simply use index to print it. So now if you will run it, it will print the same thing, but now we are uh, using index to access it. So let us run. So you can see it has printed the same thing. And uh, let's uh, see uh, nesting of loops like uh, loops within loops it means like you have a for loop and then we have another for loop and so on so it is like uh, nested loops uh, similar to nested if else statements so let us try with an example. So let us say um, for i in range 5 and then add another loop for j in range i. And then you can say print i and print. So what we are doing is like uh, for i starting from 0 to 5, 
and j in range i means we are printing i as many times as the value of i so for i is equal to 0 it will print uh, uh, 0 and uh, just uh, 0 times like one time and then for 1 it will print uh, one time and two it will print two time and so on so let us run and see you can see like uh, for zero uh, for i is equal to zero it won't print anything but for one it will print one two three four and so on so this is kind of a nested loop there is one more concept uh, uh, is uh, called uh, loop control statements which is continue and break so these two statements are used to like uh, break the uh, looping in between the code block. So let us see with example like how it works. So let us say if I want to have a, let us say we have a string. So string is equal to hello. For let us see, and let us see, we want to print uh, characters of this string other than L word, L, L character. So let us say for care in a string. So this will simply uh, take one string at a time, and then we can check if ch is equal is equal to l so we can say continue otherwise print ch so here we are saying if the character is l continue means it it won't print it it won't go here it will continue to the next character so this is the continue uh, control statement so let us run it so you can see it has printed h e not l l and then w o r no l d and so on so you can see it has continue for those characters which are l and let us say the break statement so let us see we want to run it uh, um simply replace uh, continue with break so let us say we want to have a uh, so let us comment it and let us say if the word comes uh, o and then break it so as soon as it will see the first character o it will simply go out of the for loop so print for loop so let us run and see it so it will print h e l l no o because it will break at o so you can see h e l l and then outside for loop so that those two are the control statement that you can use to break the loops and then uh, you can use else statement as well with uh, uh, while and for loop so it is like uh, when the for loop finishes it executes this particular block so for example if why i want to run a code block after this uh, condition finishes but not when we break the loop in between so for example if i will say else print the break statement is not executed so this will run only when the code is uh, uh, this for loop is uh, completed if we break it in between it won't get executed so for example in this case it will break in between so this won't execute here so let us run and see it so you can see it won't run this but now if i will say hello is equal to something like z 
this won't break because there is no g in this uh, particular string so now if you will run it it will execute this as well because it completes this uh, uh, for loop and then only it will execute this part uh, a break statement in between that will simply not uh, let this execute because it simply breaks before uh, completing this uh, for loop and the same thing you can use with um, while statement for example if i am writing like uh, uh, a code with a while loop so let us say while so let us say count is equal to zero and while count is uh, less than 10 print i am less than 10 but we can add a break statement like if i is equal is equal to 5 break sorry count is equal is equal to 5 and then we can simply print count plus is equal to 1 and now if we will add else statement here print So here, so if it will break in between, it won't print this statement, otherwise it will print. If the condition, uh, if the while loop finishes with this condition, then it will print this, otherwise it won't print this. So if count is equal to, equal to 5 means it will break before this particular condition breaks out. So if you will run it, you won't uh, print this one and it will go out of the loop. So let us comment first this one. Just run it. You can see I am less than 10, I am less than 10, and outside while loop. Because as soon as I is equal to count is equal to 5, it will break and it won't print this system because the control statement uh, actually uh, used to go out of the loop. It is not used this condition to break the loop. So if I will say here like 20. So it won't uh, break the loop and then it will simply print here. This is statement as well. So you can see here. So while is completed without break. So and uh, I think that's uh, that's uh, enough introduction for loops as well. You can uh, code and then see if you have any other questions you can ask in comment section. We will see in the next video. Bye for now. Take care.